Welcome to my channel, The Media. I'm Andrew. In this channel, we'll be looking at disruptive companies as a way to unlock exponential gains. If this is your first time in my channel, consider going through past videos. If you see what you like, then hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget the notification bell because it will allow you to know exactly when I release a new video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. And for the subscribers who have clicked the join button, which is right next to the subscribe button, you've taken your support to the next level. Thank you so much. Uh, what you've done has given me a lot of positive energy. Thank you so much for that. So, um, as I mentioned before, I'm going to give a shout out to all the join members in chronological order so that you will know when your badge will change. These badges will metamorph the longer that you are with the channel. So the fifth person who've joined is Richard Coloma. Thank you so much for supporting my channel in this way. Um, I truly, truly appreciate you. Thank you so much. If you're new to OTC Penny Stocks, please consider using the link for Charles Schwab. Open an account with them with my link, then you support my channel and get some free money. I also use Webull to trade and because it allows me to trade before and after market. Again, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I'm just giving you guys information. Also, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything in my video is my opinion and it's for educational purposes only. I also have a Twitter account, so consider following me on Twitter and Stockswitz. They're all in the uh, description box. Without further ado, let's dig in. In today's video, I'm going to be introducing to you another EV play. And it's only right now 15 cents or so. A lot of room for growth for this company. It's, it's very disruptive. So if you watch from the beginning until the end, then you'll see why Andrew thinks this is a disruptive company. The company that we're talking about is Illustrado Pictures International Incorporation, ticker symbol ILUS. Today, it went down 4% and closed at 0.156. Let's just quickly look at their history. For today, it started out at 17 cents and, you know, and dropped down to as low as 15 cents. In the last five days, you'll see that it's basically been fluctuating from 17 to 15 cents. I would say this is somewhat of a consolidation. And the best time to buy would have been March 4th when it was selling at 7 cents at the lowest. The peak or the highest it ever got was 17 cents. So it's pretty much where it's peaking right now. Okay. So company overview. This is a pink limited information. It's verified profile and you know, transfer agent verified means their share data are verified, which is super important. Pink limited information. I know that they're trying to get current. So this is going to be very good. There was a, an attorney letter speaking about this progress that they're trying to make. And I think it's really good that companies are trying to be current transparent. Okay, so let's see what this company's worth. Their market cap is 167.6 million. Authorized shares 2 billion, but their outstanding shares only half of their authorized shares. So they're authorized to make another billion shares. Restricted and restricted are relatively split in half. Good. And 480 million shares are held at DTC. Great for retail investors. We don't want to be paying any fees when we're buying shares for per each transaction because you know their under secret shares are not held at ETC. But this company is great news for us. Their float is pretty small in comparison. Three hundred and forty-two point eight million shares, not too bad. So the description of this company: Ilis is a public and MA investment company operating out of New York, London, and Dubai, focused on adding shareholder value by innovation and growth. The company is primarily focused but not limited to acquiring businesses in the technology, engineering, and manufacturing space globally. Historically, the company has evolved out the industrial sector mainly from emergency services products, emergency response vehicles, vehicle conversions, EVs, wearable tech, and smart tech. Islet looks to acquire companies who have strong management and potential to grow rapidly, will benefit from cross-pollinations of territories, products and skills from other groups, companies, usually acquiring businesses with revenue in the one mil to five mil range, which is fine because they're worth 167.6 million. Uh, these companies that they're acquiring is very, law in, uh, very small in comparison to their market cap. 
So essentially, this company is looking to acquire emergency response services vehicles that are electric and that are innovative and disruptive. And they're looking for focus in this particular area. And very soon, the two articles that they released back in February of 2021 will explain why they chose to focus in this area. The, the first uh, press release, February 2nd, 2021, the title of the article is Eyeless Partners with Melanian Group to Integrate Eyeless Technologies with Melanian Autonomous Vehicle Technology. Eyeless is a M&A company acquiring technology-based companies globally and has recently completed its acquisition of FB Technologies Global Inc., or the Firebug Group. And the Firebug Group is a leading manufacturer of technology and fire and rescue vehicles, including its EV, electric 6x6 vehicle, to the fare and rescue market. And it says here that the fire and rescue market globally has been underinvested for decades. And right now, they're going through modern modernization because of rapid urbanizations of the cities becoming wider, taller, and more congested, making it increasingly costly and difficult for fire and rescue services to perform efficiently. This is so true. When you travel and you go to countries like Japan and Korea, a lot of the smaller countries that are super developed, they don't, they're so cramped, they don't have a lot of space. So these little small emergency response vehicles are going to be so useful. I agree with them. I have lived in those countries before, and I think that it definitely makes sense. They also so say that the technology is at least 60% more efficient than conventional technologies, allowing responders to utilize much, much smaller and faster and more economical res response vehicles in most instances. And they say here, a common scenario is where conventional technology would use approximately you know, more or less 200 gallons of water to put out a car fire in about 90 seconds. However, firebug technology would use 10 gallon, only 10 gallon, whereas the previous is 200 gallons, to put out a car fire in more or less seven seconds. Okay, so just think about that, you guys. The previous one is 200 gallons and 90 seconds, and they're claiming that they can put fire out in seven seconds and only 10 gallons. I mean, this is super disruptive. Obviously, we want to make sure that they can, they can do it. I'm liking what I hear because if they can do this and they have the te technology to do this, I don't see why people would not want to have this technology. And it says here that in order to facilitate its global rollout, ILIS has an acquisition strategy to roll up strategic companies to increase its route to market and manufacturing capacity and to continually develop and technology platform further. So on this basis, FB Technology Global is very pleased to sign a memorandum of understanding with Melanian Group LLC, a UK and Dubai-based specialist technology company disrupting the market in the design, development, and manufacture of unmanned systems that serve to augment and transform team and missions capabilities while safeguarding personnel in hostile and dangerous environment in both the public and private sector globally. Melanian Group also provide USV solutions in the form of unmanned fully autonomous rapid response vessels for marine application. Jointly, the companies intend to develop an autonomous unmanned fire and rescue solution for the military fire and rescue and specialist application. So if you thought what they did before was disruptive, that sentence right there is the money maker. So what they're saying is they want to product, uh, they, they want to produce these emergency response vehicles. Not only are they more efficient in putting out fire quickly and water usage, but they're going to be the unmanned ground vehicle which means you remove humans from the equation. You don't have to send firefighters into fire and risking their life. These autonomous unmanned vehicles would do it through human control. I mean, that is a brilliant, brilliant idea and that is super disruptive. That's where, I, that's where the money is, I think. That was my biggest takeaway from that article. The second one, dated February 4th, 2021, entitled, 
Eilis International competes acquisitions of the vehicle converter TVC, increasing Eilis group manufacturing ability in preparations for the Eilis EV and Firebug technology rollout. So let's read this article to learn more about this vehicle converter company that they just acquired. The Vehicle Converters LLC, known as TVC, is a Dubai-based $3 million annual revenue business. This was pre-COVID. So maybe they're not doing so well right now because it's COVID time, okay? But that, that that's why they say pre-COVID in there, which is fine. It's understandable. So TVC is operating as a specialist manufacturer and converter of services vehicles, primarily medical, military, police, fire, and rescue response vehicles, usually small rapid response type vehicles. TVC has converted more than 8,000 of the most advanced vehicles for some of the biggest brands in the world and is listed on almost every major preferred supplier in the Middle East and North African, America, uh, the North African market. Many of the leading government globally have been researching the possibility for ha of having joint first responders in a single vehicle, meaning one small vehicles arrived with multi-trained, multi-skill responders. So instead of sending a fire truck, ambulance, and police vehicle to a small incident, wasting taxpayers' money, the TVC medical and police and vehicle experience combined with Firebug's patent fire technology could make a world-leading solution that would be very difficult for any competitor to compete with. So what I'm reading here is this vehicle converter company it's going to allow them to create like one giant super vehicle that can perform all of these functions. So you're not sending in multiple res uh, emergency response vehicles. That is so disruptive. I mean, this company is so creative. I really, I'm just, I'm loving it. While Firebug already supplies to many top brands in the Middle East, the acquisitions of TVC will speed up the access to a huge customer base of almost every top brand in the oil and gas, military, civil defense, and middle and medical sector in the Middle East and North Africa market. TVC's experience in the specialist vehicle market will allow the Firebug Group to expand their offering to customers in the rest of the world, where TVC has not been active in Firebug and Firebug is active in more than 20 countries. This is insane, right? Because both of them have an international scope. They're just not looking at a small region. They're looking to expand this globally. And TVC, uh, TVC have that exposure in at least those two continents. You have Eyeless Investment Company that have presence in the United States and the Middle East. Wow, this could be very big. To Melanian, because I wanted to take a look at their vehicles. Because if you look at Workhorse, I'm reminded of Workhorse because Workhorse wanted to produce an electric vehicle company to compete for USPS's delivery um, vehicle. I looked at their design and it's not that it's not that nice. But Millennium actually have really nice design for their unmanned vehicles. It looks really, really cool. Very sleek designs. Their winning design. And their fire trucks looks really cool as well. I think design is also very important. I think right now at nearly 16 cents, looking at into the future, they have a lot of growth potential. I think this is definitely one of the play hope that I will be able to execute at the price that I want because this is going to be huge in my opinion. You know, let, let me know what you think about this play. And if you agree with some of the points that I brought to your attention. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will be having more videos coming up. So please be sure to tune in. And as always, thank you so much for all your support so far.